So before we begin the video, just want to let you guys know that this is not 100% true. This isn't a step-to-step -step guide to becoming a successful Dokken Battle YouTuber. This is just all for jokes, and if any of these resembles you, please don't get butt hurt around it. It's just a joke. So with that said, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what is going on guys? My name's Jay Fanta, and welcome to my step-to-step -step guide to becoming a famous Dokken Battle YouTuber 101. This is pretty much a checklist of what you need to do before becoming a Dokken Battle YouTuber. So before we get into the content side of the thing, let's talk about what you need to do and what your personality appearance has to be like in order to become a Dokken Battle YouTuber. Okay, so to compete into becoming a Dokken Battle YouTuber, you must resemble at least one of the five points that I am going to mention right now. If you are not, then you must obviously have to get one of these attributes to becoming a Dokken Battle YouTuber. So the first one is being bulk. You need to have 10 tons of muscles on you. If you don't, well, you gotta start doing it. Like I say, no gym, no gains, no growth. So I recommend you guys getting that gym membership and just live there at that point. So obviously not everyone can be in the gym or become bulk as they should be. So the next best thing is being in a public relationship. So if you tell everybody that you have a relationship, you will instantly grow into the 1000 subscriber mark. So as simple as it sounds, good luck finding your soulmate out there. And let's move on to the next point. Now these last three points aren't the most important, but if you have them, this will get you extra points into becoming famous on the Dokken Battle YouTube side. So first one being an English accent. If you come from Europe, anywhere from Europe, your exotic voice will get people aroused and will want to watch you more, which equals more subscribers, of course. But obviously more than half the people do not have an English accent. So you can also join the Goku Black slash Ningen worshipper. If you start worshipping Goku Black and the religion that is Ningen, you'll get a free access pass into gaining subscribers and the secrets of life. And then the final, but not the least, have an unlimited flow of dragon stones. This pretty much means just have unexplained dragon stones in your inventory, in your account, for no absolute reason, but just to flex on them. If you have to show on your YouTube channel that you have over 300 dragon stones in your disposal, then that will get you in the thousands of subscribers. So that is pretty much what you gotta do for yourself in order to get Dokken Battle famous. Now let's talk about the content side of things. Now for the content, it isn't the most important. If you have one of the five personality traits that I already talked about, then you're pretty much set. You don't really have to follow any of these at this point. But doing any of these four points that I am going to explain will help you tremendously during your YouTube journey. So make sure you listen out right now. First of all, let's talk about the thumbnail, all right? The thing that gets people attracted to your videos. Your thumbnail must, I mean must, if it doesn't, then you know, you're out of the league. It must have a Dokken Battle logo on the thumbnail. It can be anywhere on the thumbnail, just as long as it's visible, you're good. You're good for the thumbnail. It can be pretty much a black thumbnail, but with a Dokken Battle logo on it, and you're pretty much set for a successful video. Next, when you're uploading the video, you must also title it. So, when you're titling it, do whatever it is, whatever the video is about, but then have, at the end, DBZ, Dokken Battle, or any sort of iteration of that. So Dragon Ball Z, Dokken Battle, DBZ, Dokken Battle, Dokken Battle. And then if it's on JP, make sure it, you put JP just to clarify that it is on JP. And with that, you must also type the whole title in cap locks. If there is one lowercase letter, you've lost a thousand views right there. It must, it must have cap lock titles. And then lastly, for your content, your overlay of your videos, so the sidebars of your videos must have an image of an OP DVZ character. So let me show you some examples. That can be Goku Black, Vegeta Blue, Goku Black Rose, Goku, Vegeta, Super Saiyan, any Super Saiyan 4s, but it cannot be like Oolong or some random character like that. If it, if it does, well then no one's gonna like you, okay? Just telling you now, no one's gonna like you. So there is the content side of things that you need to do in order to become a Dokken Battle YouTuber. Of course, there are some other things. You can be knowledgeable in the game or have good quality equipment or even have good quality videos. 
but no one really cares. You just need the five personality traits and four of the content things that I said about earlier, and you're all good. Doesn't matter about the videos or edit, whatever. So I hope this guide helped you in order to get over a thousand subscribers. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video around to those that do these in your subscription list. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's only a joke. Stay fizzy. Peace out.